Hello, hello, hello. Uh, I've got a ridiculous amount of games in my backlog that I've been meaning to play and haven't, but want to. So I thought I would uh, just post some videos on this YouTube channel and uh, see where I go from there. It's a good way to make myself play some games uh, that I want to play anyway. I'm going to start up with Mail Time. I uh, got this one quite recently. I'm a big fan of cute platformers, which I think this is. Uh, let's see. Uh, and I've heard this is a good one. Let's put in. Let's actually get my cursor on the screen. There we go. Hairstyle. Oh, this is cute. Uh, I got this in the in a recent bundle. It might still be there. Uh, of uh, kind of cozy games or wholesome games and uh, to be fair it's like an ideal bundle for me because the only game I didn't have in there was um, Tinykin and that's because I own it and it was my game of the year last year uh, let's go for a leaf back back colour let's go for blue and my glider oh What's that? We've got letters. Oh, they're all letters. Uh, let's go for that one. Okay, let's go. Let's deliver some mail. Are we there yet? No. How about now? No. What about stop? Will you shut up if I tell you where we're going? Promise. All right, now don't get too excited, but today's your first solo delivery. What? Yes, my ears. Oh, I'm sorry. Right, so. Okay, so you've got it, right? Yep. Wait, no. One more time? Listen closely this time then. You. You, me, Tin, need to deliver that letter in your backpack to a someone named Greg. Deliver the letter to Greg, since it's your first job, uh, first day on the job. First, but not least, r right, yes, you probably know a bit about what it's like to be a male scout. Yes, sir, Janet, I mean, ma'am, I'm top of my class at Male Academy. Oh, well, I'm in the top ten. Ish, but I'm ready to learn. Well, it's one thing to learn from the books, and another thing to learn in real life. Mail Scout Official Handbook, page 12. Good one, Janet. Try me on another one. Scout, what did we say about the interrupting thing? Not, not to do it? Yes, please try. Look how long Janet's been trying to eat that sandwich. Uh, before you're ready to deliver your letter to Greg, we should do a practice run. See that turtle over there? I want you to give them this note from me. You might just get something special for it, in case you forgot how your legs work. You can use left to walk around. Hi, Captain Jan. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, I have a bee following me. Uh, oh, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> there we go. I see now. Hello. Hi. Hi, are you here for an autograph? Oh? Do I have to get mail signed before I can deliver it? I don't remember that from the handbook. Oh, no. I meant you want my autograph because I'm famous. Oh, what for? I'm a track star in training for my next race. Speedy Shelby, they call me. Your name is Shelby? Then this letter is for you. Oh, fan mail? Of, of sorts. Let me see it then. This is a fake letter. Just pretend that you're reading it. It's their first delivery. Oh, I see. Is that your supervisor over there? Oh, I'm doing in the wrong voice. I mean, I'm four minutes into the video. It's pretty good that it took me that long to get my voices confused. That's Janet. She's my boss. Or something like that. I'm not really sure. In that case... I accept this letter. 
It was delivered to me following Mail Scout protocol. I'm ecstatic with service I have received. Five stars. No, wait. Four and a half stars. What? Why the four and a half? You didn't want my autograph. Oh, sorry. By the way, do you happen to know where Greg is? Not currently. My brain is on sport mode. Information irrelevant to exercise can't be accessed right now. Maybe Egbert knows. He's clever. Squirrel man. Can't miss him. Asking around is the best way to find people around here. Thanks for the tip. Bye, Shelby. Peace out, little scout. Okay, we did it. Uh, now what? Oh, wait, are we... Are we supposed to go back to Janet? Chief Janet, I'm back. Visibly. And I heard you gave the letter to Shelby. Huh? How did you hear that? Wasn't easy to miss. Good job, Scout. That means you've earned your first patch. Hooray! Oh. Oh, I can run around. Janet, 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 look. Look what I can do. Yippee! Oh, I can't run around anymore. So our scouts work on a patch system. Once you've done something noteworthy, you'll earn a patch for it. With every patch you get a little bit closer to being a real mail scout, and you get a little bit better at mail delivery. For example, you might have noticed that you can now jump- I certainly have noticed, Janet. Well, by holding A, you can glide as well. <gasps> That's amazing! I'm literally never going to touch the ground ever again. Well, sure. Why not dream big? Anyways, when you deliver that letter to Greg, You'll get your official Mail Scout patch. You'll be a full Mail Scout for real. Ah, I can't wait. Good luck, Tin. I'll be here if you need me. Thanks, Mum. I mean, Mrs. Mail. I mean, Janet. Bye. Oh, don't forget. You can press Y to check your deliveries and patches in your handbook. Okay, let's go deliver some mail. Oh, hang on. Well, I jump high. Oh, this is cute. This, this month alone, I've got so many games that are on my wish list, which is just great. And very little time to play them, but I think they're going to do me good for the next several months. Okay, I don't think I've got anything in here. But should we go and see this ladybird? Hello. Hey, oh. Oh, okay. You're just decoration that I can walk through. Never mind. Sorry for disturbing your day. Um, right. Uh, plus, I bought a couple games. Like I bought uh, Death Must Die, which is good. I think I've, I I beat it on like the hardest difficulty. So I'm just going to wait for more. Pretty much till it releases from early access. I think before I go to that thing again. I got stuck on Returnal, but quite far, very far in fact, I think. Uh, hello. Hi. What do you want? I'm a little busy right now. Come back later. Okay. Do I have a map? I didn't actually look in my handbook properly. Nope. Ah, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, no map. I think I've just got to actually look. That's fine. Oh, yeah, I'm a big fan of all the, the bright and colourful games that I've got to play at the moment. Uh, I haven't really planned which games I'm gonna I'm gonna record. Uh, it's just whatever I feel like playing, I guess, when I when I have a bit of time. Oh, hello, Cedar. Yes. Oh. I mean, depends. Who are you? I'm Tin, the male scout. In training. What was that last part? Nothing, nothing. I'm a little busy right now, if you don't mind. Nothing suspicious or anything. Everything is A-OK. -okay. Uh, OK. Uh, but I'll, I'll try to vary it up um, with, with genres and things. 
so it's not all the same. But I, I do want to play interesting things. Uh, I think one of the ones I will play quite soon is um, is it uh, Undertale Yellow? I think it's called the uh, the new fan made spin-off Undertale thing. Yeah, it's Egbert. Can't believe kids these days. Oh, didn't see you there. You shouldn't sneak up on an old man like that. I'm right in front of you. Maybe you need glasses. Egbert's wearing glasses. Ne never mind. <laughs> well, let's have a look then. What? Who's this? Maybe I really de do need new glasses. Beg your pardon, who are you? Oh, no worries, sir. I'm the new. I'm new round this stretch of the wood. I'm a mail scout, here on official mail scout business. Tin, nice to meet you. Egbert, likewise. Well, don't let me distract you from your work. Okay, see ya. Unless... Unless what? Unless you'd be willing to help an old man out. Like a little side quest? See it as a way to gain experience. Well, our number one rule is to serve the community. Actually, it might be rule 38. Anywho, what... Uh, what's a sitch? Sitch? Shit, bleh. Situation. You youngsters and your slang. Well, my upstairs neighbour is getting on my nerves. S seems to be in the nature of upstairs neighbours. They blast their rock music at the most tiresome hours, like 8pm, and the noise is driving me insane. I'd go up there and speak some sense into them myself, but my knees just aren't what they used to be. So, if you'd be so kind. Could you hand them this formal letter of complaint? Sure thing, Gramps. Uh, thank you for the trouble. Upstairs. How do I get upstairs? How do I get upstairs? Uh, okay, let's, let's... Let's work this one out. So there's no way... Oh, I'm gonna go and get that coin, though. Ah! Okay, I need to get over there, which I can do from there. There's... I don't think I can grab that from this side. I'm assuming not. No. We'll see how solid these leaves are, but I'm pretty sure this is not what's intended. Oh! Okay, maybe it is. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> right. Is that not what I'm supposed to do, or did I just do it poorly there? And can I bounce on this? I can, but why? Okay. I feel like I'm taking shortcuts, or trying to take shortcuts that weren't meant to be taken. Okay, right. So where's Egbert's house? It's that one. Yes, so I can just glide over here. I feel like I've just like bypassed a, comp a puzzle to get up here, but also maybe I haven't. Let's. We're here. It's a side mission. Oh. Oh, hang on. Okay. I have a sit down button. Okay, I can carry on uh, going up from here. Oh, hello. That's not the right button. Kudos, kids. That was epic. Thanks. Wait, what? Getting up here without, you know, wings? Wings must be hella convenient. Getting anywhere is a breeze. Or should I say, on the breeze? Ha <laughs> ha! You're funny, amigo. You're one of them male scouts, aren't you? Reporting for duty. So what's the sitch? That's what I said! Huh? When? Oh, wait, I remember. Never mind, I don't. Well, I was talking to Egbert and I said, what's the sitch? I can't imagine the look on his face. Must have had the Gramps straight flabbergasted. Yeah, I can't say he understood. He told me to hand you this. Blah, 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 noise, music, blah, blah, third strike, official warning. Those sure are a lot of words. Too bad I'm not reading them. There's music in my soul and I just gotta let it out. You feel me? No, that would be unprofessional. Oh, you're talking about the music thing. Well, I do also enjoy my tunes from time to time. 
Same, same, pal. But I just can't help that my song isn't nice and chill. I'm just not like the other birds. <laughs> just goofing. Other birds are chill. Even Kaz. Who? Don't worry about it. You'll run into him if you're cool enough. So what about Egbert's letter? Oh, just tell him, like, whatevs. Sadly, I can't deliver spoken word. Even something as moving as that. Well, um, will this do? This is a used napkin with a cr with crayon writing on it. And most importantly, a stamp. Well, I guess it qualifies as a letter according to the Mail Scout handbook. I'll be on my way to Egbert. Hold up a sec, little buddy. Pro tip from the uh, Clairmeister. Hold A to glide down on the, ble uh, on the breeze. Nice and chill. Thanks, I'll give it a whirl. Okay. We've got an icebreaker patch. Cool. Oh, I could go over there though. I won't, I'll just glide down and do what I'm supposed to be doing. Do you reckon there's fall damage? I'm assuming there's probably no damage <laughs> in this game. Got a response from Clarence for you. They've sent you this, poster stamp and all. What ifs? Well, I never can't believe that scoundrel. If they won't listen, I will have to escalate the situation. I really hope they wouldn't have to do this for their and my own sake. I must file a formal complaint to our landlord. Wow, that's quite a drastic move, my guy. Um, I mean, are you sure, my good client, patron, sir? I had hoped it wouldn't come to this, but it must be done. Well, anyway, can you take this to Kiki? You already had it filed out? Filed out? Filled out? Well, yeah, they weren't going to listen anyway. Could have saved me a trip up that tree. Well, wasn't it a great learning experience? And what would I learn from talking to your landlord? Bureaucracy. Surely there's one of those patches for that. Um, don't fuss about it. With all these, this experience, you're sure to earn some kind of patch. I better. I still need to find Greg. Let's go and find Greg. Can I jump on all the mushrooms here? I just keep hitting my head on a flower whenever I do that. So I can I can walk. Oh, I just have a nice, chill walk. Uh, hmm. Let's go over here. This feels like a nice chill time. I'm I'm absolutely for games at the moment where I can just kind of zone out and chill and look at something bright and colourful and fun to play. Especially as it's the depths of winter here at the moment. And it's cold and it's dark. Hi! Scram, kid, I'm busy. Unless you've got something for me, don't bother me. You've got mail. Correspondence from your loyal tenant, Egbert. Who? Squirrely, squirrely looking fella. Um, he requires your aid in settling a pressing interpersonal dispute. What? It's a formal noise complaint against Clarence. Oh, um, okay. Go ahead and file it with the rest of the complaints. Um, it's kind of important. Why? Um, shouldn't you be invested in the well-being of your tenants? I mean, sounds like a landlord. Kid, I'm invested in my investments. Property, capital, wealth. As long as they pay their rent, I could care less. Isn't, isn't it couldn't care less? Eh? Could care less suggests you care a little bit. You're running me around in circles. Go run in circles elsewhere. You want a, a letter to deliver? Here it is for Egbert. Scurry along, shoo. Hmm. I mean, I didn't really want to file, send that letter anyway, but... I'm just playing the game. Right. Right, let's go back to Egbert and then we can continue our journey to find Greg. Am I in the right place? I am in the right place, excellent. 
That cat's gonna get what's coming to him sooner rather than sooner or later. Please don't fight my landlord. How do you respond? Something about how he's a big capitalist egghead. Oh, and he gave me this letter. Oh? Your complaint has been noted. We are looking into it. Until further notice. He didn't read the letter, did he? No, I don't think so. Huh, <laughs> unbelievable. You know, back in my day, we had manners. Did you? Me? Well, no. I was quite impressive. The quite the impressive bad boy. I do say so myself. Oh dear heavens, Annie, I just remembered. Our anniversary is today. I got so caught up in all of this that I let it slip again. It's hard to think straight with all that noise. Could you please take this note to Annie for me? She's over at the farm with Daisy. Sure. And, and please, please don't let her know about uh, all this. No problem, back in a jiffy. Okay. I wonder if the entire game, it like the objective is get a letter to Greg. Like the entire game is you trying to find Greg. Uh, I don't think it's you. No, that's Cedar. Okay. Let's see. Oh, wait. How did I get? How did I get back here? Okay, I think I got turned around somewhere. <laughs> Let's go this way. I'm just going to end up... Hang on, if I go this way, I'm just going to end up back at um, Egbert's house, aren't I? Okay, so I can't see anyone else. Oh, yes I can. <laughs> Hello. Sorry. Hi, Ailey. What are you doing out here? I'm just delivering some mail. Sounds fun. What are you doing? I'm watching over my turnips. I'm hoping to win this year's Harvest Festival in the smallest turnip category. Oh, those are tiny. Thanks. Okay. So anyone... Can I go inside? I'm assuming I can't. Right. I need to be a bit more observant, I think, and notice when people are standing outside their houses. Oh, is, it... oh, is this how I was supposed to get up? Okay, I can't... Oh, I can double jump, can't I? Uh, I got a log. Oh, I just got some, some wood. Cool. <laughs> right. Okay, can I see... Anyone else standing outside a door? Standing there in great anticipation of receiving some post. No, I can't. Should I go? I should go over there. There's probably like more stuff over there. I'm just wasn't sure whether that was. Okay, I've done that. There's no one there. Let's go this way. I'm trying to work out whether the floor there is traversal floor or if it's just going to be reset me because it kind of looks like it's just going to reset me but we'll see oh hello whoa oh well I wonder if it echoes 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 you shouldn't be here wow ah. oh okay hiya Ribbit. Are you a froggy? You can talk, right? Ribbiting is talking. Oops. I, I, I mean, Ribbit. Who are you? Names are irrelevant. Think of me as he who controls the worms. Ribbit. Do you want to hear a secret? Okay, funny well voice. Tell me your very legitimate, totally real secret. Did you know socks and tenors and tenor aren't real. It's a replica glued onto their head. Their real one fell off in a skiing accident. That's some niche knowledge. How did you learn that? The worms whisper their secrets to me. 
Ribbit. Cool. Tell the worms I said hi. Will do. Nice. Okay, well, bye bye, boys. Ribbit. Should we, should we try? I reckon this is gonna... Oh no, it's fine. Okay, my bad. It's quite hard to traverse. Oh, hello. Oh, it's Donna. Hello. What are you doing here? Hi. I'm delivering mail. Oh, that sounds fun. Oh, my name's Donna. What's your name? Tin. It's great meeting you, Tin. What are you up to, Scout? I'm working on this big delivery. For someone named Greg, do you know him? Ah, no, sorry. I'm pretty new to this area. No worries, thanks anyway. Okay. That's fine, we'll find Greg at some point. Probably not in this video. Oh, I got an adventurer patch. Uh, but this game seems f fun and pleasant and nice. Which I very much like in a game sometimes. Something you can just sit back and relax to. Not particularly challenging, but, you know, just enjoyable to play. Low stakes. Low stakes fun. It's nice after playing <laughs> so much Returnal recently, which uh, my computer just about plays. Uh, or just about runs. And that game is very difficult. Wait a minute, I recognise here. Okay, what's on the road? Uh, okay. Oh, okay. That's fine, I'm gonna see if I can get up there. Hmm. Is that gonna be feasible? Nope. There we go. Oh, you look like someone I need to speak to. Oh, you know, hey Snowdrop. Psst. Ah, oh, oh, hello. What's going on? You have to whisper. I'm afraid Mum will find out what happens. Y your Mum? Yeah, her name is Daisy. She's not close by. Even with big ears, she won't be able to hear you. Okay, if you say so. Well, I have a bit of a problem. I love the stars. They make me feel so excited. Did you know that stars are really far away, but with a telescope, you can see them as if they're very close. Isn't that cool? For sure, it's like you're right next to the stars. But that doesn't sound like a problem, really. Well, I was looking through the telescope at the stars. There was a meteor that I was trying to see. Oh, meteors are like stars that are flying. Did you know that? No, that's so cool. As I was trying to find the meteor, I was swinging the telescope around a bit. Turns out I was swinging it a bit too much. Before I knew it, the telescope was broken. And now the stars are far away again. Oh, can you help me fix it? Not a problem. It looks like the lens is broken. It's a bit of thick glass inside the telescope. Oh, I know which part you mean. So the lens from a pair of glasses would work. I just walked past the pair of glasses, I think. That, that could work great. Okay, well, I did see some around, but I don't really remember where. It was either near Kiki or Donna. It, it was near Donna. Don't worry, Snowdrop. I'll figure it out. Thanks, Tin. And, and please don't tell Mum. Wouldn't dream of it. Okay. Oh, that was weird. It, this this teddy scope looks like it's going to look into a tree. Okay, let's uh, let's see if we can retrace our steps. Uh, and find those glasses again. I think it was around here. I got a bit distracted because I was talking about Returnal at this point. So I think it's... I think it was this way? Yeah. I think Donna was just around here. Yes, there we go. Perfect. Okay, let's go back and let's uh, let's fix this telescope
Watch me get turned around and end up back at Egbert's or something. <laughs> oh no, I think I am in the right place. There it is. Okay, right. Is there an easier way to get up there? Yes. Yes, there was. <laughs> okay, do I need to go to the telescope or to Snowdrop? Check it out, Snowdrop. Do you think this lens would fit? That looks perfect. Oh my gosh, the telescope works again. Thank you so much. I have to get to sleep right now. Huh? Why? It's daytime, which means the stars are sleeping. If I sleep now, I'll be wide awake later when the stars are awake too. Oh, one more thing. Here's a drawing I made as a thank you. I hope you like it. <laughs> I like the description to this painting. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, Snowdrop. Snowdrop? She fell asleep standing up. Tadden. Sleep tight, Snowdrop. The stars will be happy to see you again tonight. Okay. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, I can see inside the bee's head. God, I thought it had two pairs of eyes there. One in, like, there. And I thought those were eyes, but those are the bottom of the wings. Okay, well... Cool. Anyway. Uh, let's... Uh, oh, I'm so... I'm super stuck. How did I get stuck on here? Well... That's half an hour. I'm not planning on doing super long videos. Pretty much as long as I feel like playing. Do I have a reset? I guess not. I could sit down. Right, does that help? No. Okay, well. Despite this, because I'm sure just quitting and reloading it would work. This is where I'm going to stop. This is mail time. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, check back for more. Oh, well, you can check back for more. Or uh, subscribe, I guess. And then you get a notification whenever I put up a new video, which I'm going to try to do fairly regularly. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Bye-bye.